Bill Ackman is one of the nation's leading hedge fund managers. Emily Stetcher is an analyst for a major Wall Street investment bank. Rabbi Elliot Cosgrove leads New York's Park Avenue Synagogue. They are all leaders of the Jewish community, but they didn't start that way. They shared their personal stories at the 2011 Hillel Renaissance Award Gala honoring Morris Offit. When my parents dropped me off at Northwestern University for my freshman year back in 2005, they helped me unpack, they gave me big hugs, and like tens of thousands of other Jewish parents around the world, they urged me to go to Hillel on Friday night. So naturally, I did exactly what tens of thousands of other Jewish kids around the world do. I laughed. Bill Ackman grew up in a neighborhood in New York that once excluded Jews. Uh, restriction in the deed. Uh, in the community, you, you could not be Jewish and live in our neighborhood. My parents, you know, that, the laws changed, I think, in the mid-60s. We, we were the second Jewish family in the neighborhood. Um, and one of my neighbors picked on me, actually beat me up, called me an anti-Semitic slur. So that was a... An uninvolved student, Elliot Cosgrove, visited Hillel at the University of Michigan one Friday night to say Kaddish for a close friend. After services, he planned to go to a local bar to hang out with friends. And like at the end of a long flight, I popped up out of my seat, ready to leave the building. I was home free. And then a man popped up and boxed me out <laughs> and looked at me and said, Excuse me, I noticed you've never been here before. At which point I recall thinking, Wow, this guy has an astute sense of the obvious. I only found out about this building about an hour ago. At which point he said, well, I was wondering if you have plans for Shabbos dinner. And truth be told, I lied, figuring he didn't really want to hear about dollar pitcher night at Rick's that night. <laughs> and then he said something that I'll never forget. He said, well, I bet you don't have plans for next Friday night. Emily became involved in Hillel. Fast forward almost two years to the end of my sophomore year when two of my friends urged me to apply for a program called the Campus Entrepreneurs Initiative, or CEI. On campuses across North America, CEI recruits students with broad social networks to serve as peer engagement workers and build relationships with hundreds of uninvolved Jewish students across campus. Being one of those uninvolved students myself, CEI was a perfect fit for me. Through the program, I connected with dozens, on my, dozens of my friends and formed new relationships as well. Together, we explored our Jewish identities in new ways that were appropriate for our age and for our college lifestyle. It was the first time that we took ownership of these identities since leaving home. Bill was invited to have dinner at Hillel. Uh, but Sarah, I, you know, came to knocked on the door and said, Hey, Bill, how about uh, Shabbat dinner? Let's go to Hillel. And she took me to Hillel. And uh, now the food was much better at Hillel. So I think, by the way, if I were giving recommendations, make sure we have the best food on campus. <laughs> okay. huge, huge strategy, food, very important part. Um, Elliot finally made it to Friday night dinner with the Hillel director. So the following week I went, and I became a Hillel board member, led the pro-Israel group to D.C., edited the Jewish Student Journal, went to rabbinical school, got a doctorate in modern Jewish studies, became rabbi of Park Avenue Synagogue. Each of these individuals is now giving back to the Jewish community and to the world at large as leaders and benefactors. Rabbi Cosgrove leads his congregation on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Bill Ackman is a major philanthropist whose foundation gives millions of dollars a year to fund educational projects in public schools and the Jewish community. Emily is giving back too. But when I do have free time, I tend to spend it in Jewish-oriented activities. One of these programs is 3GNY, a New York-based group for the grandchildren of Holocaust survivors. Through 3GNY, I have learned to tell the story of how my grandfather and his family survived the ghetto, the death camps, and ultimately the Second World War. I recently went to Brooklyn Generations High School and told my family story to a group of 30 10th graders. It was an unbelievable experience, and I can't wait to go back and teach again. As you can all see, Hillel has truly enriched my life, and I just hope that I have given a little something back. Hillel is building tomorrow's leaders today. 
To learn more about Hillel, visit us on campus or online at www.hillel.org.